Women in Nuclear Global and Green IAEA booth. of three of our groups of technical uh, I'm, experts I'm and leaders in I'm security, med, uh, radio pharmacy, and emergency preparedness. The IAEA was crucial in supporting the establishment of two of our regional chapters, Win Africa and Win Latin America and the Caribbean promote our group of expertise in innovation has been crucial, crucial for several maybe, reasons. Maybe it's not a good experience, it's made I must highlight the, you know? the steady collaboration in education and training, especially yeah, through the World it's Nuka okay, University, thank you. Thank you, bye. where we global experts have an active role as educators and mentors. We also very much appreciated WNA initiative to form an industry statement to the 10th NPT review conference. And thank you to all of you. And I take really the opportunity to give a special thanks to our team and our members of WIN IAEA, who are, <laughs> and the president, Jeanette, who are extremely active very professional and very supportive to win global. Thank you so much, Dominique, uh, for your inspiring words. And now I would like to introduce a person who you really, really know. <laughs> yes, uh, the IAEA Director General, Mr. Van Gracias. Uh, and thank you, thank you all uh, for, for being here. I mean, and, and, and Sama as well, uh, all of you, the WIN group at the, at the agency and everywhere else. Um, I think uh, what, we, what we see, I mean, your enumeration um, of things is so impressive um, that um, uh, one can add very, very little, but simply to say that we are not even halfway through where we need to be. Uh, we are adding areas, we are adding groups, we are adding regions, but uh, the gender perspective is still not uh, fully incorporated into the work of um, the international organizations, read large, and also national. It's a constant uh, struggle, it's still an uphill uh, battle. And I want to pay homage to all of you the women professionals that are uh, constantly uh, facing uh, the um, difficulties that we men never had to, and have the strength to continue, even in spite of these uh, circumstances, to the point that uh, you were able uh, to convince us all that this is simply the right thing to do. So, uh, the idea here at the IAEA is that we are continuing and that we are uh, going to be seeing to it through our human resources processes, through our recruitment processes, through our line management activities, that uh, there is no um, uh, gap and that there is no stopping as to uh, how we deal with these issues. Um, every time. Uh, on every issue here, especially at the IAEA, where we are dealing with technical matters, uh, before uh, we uh, close the folder, before we say that the last uh, T has been crossed and the last I has been dotted, we have to ask ourselves, what about the gender perspective? Is this fully incorporated in this? Are we doing justice to all the talent that is there? And this is a constant thing. All I can say, is that you can count on me not to drop it. We are going to continue. And please, if we don't do, remind us to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And last but not least, I would like to introduce a very inspiring woman, uh, Ms. Sama Bilbao y Leon, the Director General of the WNA. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it is a true pleasure to, to be here. Uh, I will be very, very brief. I just have a couple of 
big picture uh, thoughts for all of you. So number one, I think that all of you know that uh, nuclear energy does provide a golden opportunity to completely decarbonize the entire e economy and do it in an equitable manner. So everybody in the world has access to 24-7 abundant, clean, affordable energy. Okay, that's a fabulous dream. So how are we going to achieve that? We are going to need lots and lots and lots and lots of people to actually make that dream a reality. And I think that this is uh, something that the global nuclear industry needs to understand, that for that dream to be a reality, we need to catch all the talent that exists in the world. And that, of course, uh, involves uh, gender parity, that involves all kinds of diversity. So we need to make sure that the workforce, the nuclear workforce of the future, that is going to actually drive this, this uh, golden opportunity that nuclear gives us is as diverse and inclusive and gender balanced as it needs to be. So that is the, the very first message that I have for all of you and for, for all of us. So my, my second message, which is maybe, uh, maybe more poignant, I hope, uh, so I just want you to look around and see who's here and who isn't here. So we have a bunch of wonderful women and a few wonderful men, but I'm missing many, 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 many wonderful men here. So we really need to make sure that all these events and all these activities and all these initiatives that we are doing to ensure that our global nuclear workforce is fully inclusive it's not just women uh, talking about it. It does include all these colleagues that are not here today. So let's make sure that they come and they join us. So those are my only messages. Other than that, I uh, thank you, all of you. I mean, congratulations on the uh, the uh, women in nuclear IAEA um, uh, uh, chapter. Also, I've been told that I need to uh, keep a special uh, note to the friends of women in nuclear IAEA, because these are, this is a group of people that are incredibly supportive to the work that you guys are doing. So thank you and congratulations, and just keep up the, the we work. Clearly we have much work to do. So back to you. Thank you. So now we are very happy to have you here. We are closing this uh, opening uh, ceremony. <laughs> And our uh, president of WinIAA will intervene and uh, Rafael. <laughs> and Rafael, I, now you have to thank you, just Dominique. take the power away so we can go. <laughs> no, I'm not taking the power. I just would like to say thank you for, to all our members and the executive committee of Women in Nuclear IAEA chapters because they all work voluntarily to make sure that we support Director's General Commitment. And we also are very grateful to the group of Friends of Women in Nuclear, member states, uh, 38 member states, please correct me if I have the, not the latest number, who are meeting with us on a regular basis and suggesting what and how much more we can do to speed up the process. And uh, with this, I would like to welcome you uh, tomorrow to our side, side event. You see the poster there with the uh, five ambassadors, ambassador for Sweden, Mexico, Philippines, Morocco, and the United States. And the uh, theme is together towards the uh, representation of women from all regions, because this is also very close to our heart that all women from all regions will be represented at our IEA tables and in IEA activities. Thank you very much for all your support and let's keep up the good work. Thank you.